charity in Miguel's love is starting to take effect. No! No! Destroy her now! Charity's doomed! That's all we, Tim Tim. So are we. a while, but all the other tests are normal. Hey, Dr. Russell. Oh, Chad, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I haven't forgotten about you, and they will be able to do your DNA test very shortly. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> Sweetie, so how did the tournament go? Oh, uh, second place. Second place? Second place. But she played a good match. She hung tough. Just got a little distracted towards the end. Distracted? Really, honey? That's so not like you. Distracted by what? Mama, why are you looking at me like that? That is... I... You're still worried that something horrible will happen to break up Ethan and me. Yes, I am. Nothing will happen. Everything's going to be fine. That takes care of that. that something horrible will happen, that we will be split apart. Teresa, nothing's going to happen. Oh, yeah? Teresa, you are the woman I love. Anyone tried to split us apart, I'd cut them out of my life forever. Okay, Rebecca, I apologize. Ready for your big announcement. Well, if I can have everyone's attention, it's time for my announcement. Now, I know this will come as a shock to most of you. I'll lose him forever. Jerry, Jerry, what happened? You okay? Jerry, come on. <sighs> What do you know about this? Damn that girl. Charity lives. Kay? This is all your fault. If only you'd kept Miguel away, Charity would be dead now. No, it's not my fault! It's okay. It's okay. Just calm down. Tim Tim for at least another day. We better make a run for it before Hecuba tears us to shreds. Come on. Charity, tell me what happened. In the closet, Miguel. They were in the closet. Who's in the closet? Did someone attack you? They were. And they were trying to pull me in, Miguel. Are they hiding in the closet? Are they still in there? No, Miguel! Miguel, no, 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 no. Miguel, wait. We should call your Look, brother and Chief Bennett. Let them handle this. There's no time. No, Miguel, don't open the door. Miguel, no! Uh. 
Whitney, can I talk to you in my office a minute? Oh, um, sure. Whitney, this distraction, would it have anything to do with Chad? Um, why would you think Chad's distracting me? Oh, I'm just concerned. You're concerned because you told me that I don't have to keep my distance from him anymore? So you just automatically assume that we're talking to each other? I am not assuming anything, and don't you take that tone with me, young lady. I, this is not an accusation. I'm sorry. It's just that I cannot stand being grilled like this, you know? I mean, it's bad enough that I lost the match. Now this, I mean... Can... Sweetie, I, I understand that you're feeling very lousy. But I hope you know that we always have your best interest at heart. Dr. Russell, we have the preliminary test results on Mrs. Bennett. Thank you, Susan. Sweetie, I need to go over these with Grace, so we'll talk later. So, Grace, shall we go over these in my office? Oh, yeah. Let's see if this tells us anything. What is it, Eve? It's bad news, isn't it? No, Mother, wait. What? What is it? I just heard Ethan say that if anyone tried to separate him from Teresa, that he cut them out of his life. If we do this, I'm going to lose him forever. Uh, is there a problem, ladies? Uh, we're all waiting for your announcement, Rebecca. Uh, in, a, in a minute, Julian. What do we do? <clears throat> this is ridiculous. I'm going home. I've never seen you react to anyone like you do to Chief Bennett. I don't understand. You know, I've known him practically my whole life. He is a wonderful person. Teresa, sometimes people just don't get along. That's the way it is with Sam and me. We don't like each other, and we never will. Uh, what is this stage fright? Uh, I think we've, we've waited long enough. If you won't make the announcement, I will. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. There's no one in the closet. Maybe they went out the window. Tell me what happened. How did the intruder get in here? No, it wasn't an intruder. It was... It, something was pushing me into the closet. Who was pushing you? There are these... These figures, these things. I don't... I don't know. They were the same color of my walls. What? It's true, Miguel. It all really happened. I swear that it did. It's it's not possible. Yes, it is. And there, there were these flames and these horrible figures, and they were calling me. And then they were calling me into the flames, and they were grabbing at me, trying to pull me into the closet. <laughs> 